and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'm going to go over which one to be doing with the coins before the playoff promo. Now, if you guys don't already know, the playoff promo is dropping tomorrow morning at 10.30, approximately about like 25 hours from this video. Now, by the time you see this video, those numbers won't add up, but from the time I'm recording this, they will to me at least. Now, as you guys know, on the stream yesterday, if you guys had watched it, they did announce that tonight, for Friday night, they might do some leaks on Twitter. So, always remember, that's why it's good to have Twitter. They might do some leaks of their promo, so you can see what's coming out a little bit earlier. But if it is not ready by then, they did say we will be seeing it Saturday morning when it is in-game. So, the playoff promo is already dropping on January 4th, to be exact, which is a little bit here. I think that's the exact date it dropped last year, actually. So... Pretty similar so far, which is sucks. They made Zero Chill so late, but they're gonna make everything else on time, which I wish they had made Zero Chill a little bit earlier. But besides the point, now the playoff promo is usually pretty cool. A lot of players, a lot of solos, a lot of cool LTDs. So we should be expecting a lot of, like, a really fun time for this time period of Madden. Now, guys, before we get into the video, always remember to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on. But you guys went freaking crazy yesterday. We gained like 300 subscribers yesterday. You guys went wild. If you guys could so kindly do that again, I greatly appreciate it. All the new guys viewing the video right now. Our goal is 25k by the end of Madden, and with, if we keep having days like this, we'll be hitting 18k by the end of this month, 19k by the end of this month. So let's make it happen. Also, you guys went crazy with the like button. Why can't you guys do that every day? Show me you can double it. In today's video, in this specific video, can we get a thousand likes? Just say we had 500 likes and we had like 8,000 views. So I know for sure as hell we can get it. So everyone, if everyone watching right now hits that like button, we could very easily hit a thousand likes right now <clears throat> excuse me i'm a little sick my voice is disgusting disregard that now like i said stand the like button comment down below say what's up i think we could do it the best feeling in the world is always when i get a ton of likes right when the video gets posted and it just starts skyrocketing up so let's see if we can have it, let, let it happen again but guys get into this video and if i lose my voice before i get to the end of this video i apologize now with the playoff promo dropping tomorrow the first thing you gotta be on the lookout for is the collect the collections, realistically. That is what, what you wanna look at. So when you first enter the game, you go over to sets, you're going to see the playoff set. Now, if it's anything like last year, last year's playoff set consisted of 12 95 overall players. There was six per conference, eight, six in the AFC, six in the NFC, and there were six masters on each side. With there being one overall master, there was like six AFC masters per team. So like I say, the Chiefs, the Patriots, the Chargers, let's just say, you know, for instance, and then there was the overall AFC master, which was Willie McGinnis from the Patriots. He's a legend. So we could be seeing something similar, which would imply that we get 1495 or higher overalls, 1295s, 297s. So that is going to in literally saturate the market with a bunch of new top rated players, which should overall decrease the value of the market. So here's my best advice for the time being. Remember today at 1030, the kindling value is going to change. They're removing kindling from the game, I believe, which does in fact mean that cards, let's say Pat Mahomes, right? I'm going to show you guys the values on these cards. So that means that cards are going to be come back, go back to training values, which means that some cards will be coming back up in value if they were like horribly below their market value based on their kindling value. So let's go check out the ghost of presence, the ghost of presence, I should say. So let's say that Van Der Esch goes for 219. Now, is that average price for 94? Let's go find out. Because the NFL 100, 94s, let's see what they go for. And then I can tell you, because it might not come up a lot, but it could come up a little bit. So 94s go for about 250 to 270. So the training market on 94s is definitely higher than it is shown in the kindling market. So what that does imply is that when these guys convert back to training, they should go up a little bit. Not a lot, but they'll probably go up to like 250. I recommend you sell. Because here's the thing. <clears throat> Today, they're going to come up and then... <clears throat> When the playoff promo comes out, they're going to drop. My best bet, like I said, is I would recommend when the training happens, the training conversion happens, give it like an hour or two for the market to go up and down, settle a little bit. Once it settles, like tonight, later tonight, before the reveal, the stream's probably going to be like a 7 or 8. Make sure that, oh, there might not even be a stream, I don't think, actually. I think I said it'll just be out in game. But before anything can be revealed around 7 or 8 later, make sure that you sell your cards. Because if you wait till the reveal, cards will come down naturally. So I'd say the sweet spot would be between like 2 p.m., and like 7 p.m., somewhere between then. If the market comes up, if it doesn't come up, you can just wait. But I'm telling you guys, once the promo drops, we're gonna be introduced to, you guys saw, when we were introduced to some Ghost of Future 95s, the market starts to crash. Now they're gonna all be in the same trading market and they're gonna get potentially 1295s and 297s. The 97s are going to 
Oh my god, I'm horrible right now. I'm sorry, guys. Going to kill the market. And just in general, it's just the way Madden works. A new promo is going to kill it. The playoffs are also going to introduce tons of 90s, tons of 80s, tons of sets. It's going to be tons of everything. So, I think it's in your best interest to start selling some pieces off. Now, you can keep some of, like I always say, you can't keep some of the ones that you think are long-term options on your team. You can't, like, if, if you really think they're long-term options, feel free to go ahead and do so. Now, as you guys can see, the ghost of future, like Terry McLaurin's actually higher than the other 94s. Guys like these should come up a little bit. Daniel Jones will come up a little bit just because he's an LTD and on top of the fact that... Actually, no, Daniel Jones will probably stay the same. He's an LTD, quick sells for coins. But the ghost of past, some of these players are very keepable in my opinion. I wouldn't recommend you sell everything, but again, 95 overalls, they might come up to like 340 a little bit, which does change a few things. But overall, like I said, what this is pretty much doing is give it's going, they're going to go up enough to where you can sell it and with reduction still make a little bit of coins back as well as cash out for the playoff promo. Like I said, all the play, there's going to be playoff cards that were similar, if not better to this. These cards won't be outweighed right away though. That's why these cards are okay if you want to keep them because like guys like Bo, Randall, away, like they're at all these guys, they're going to be right in line with the other playoff cards. So I don't think they're going to be overshadowed instantly. 297 Jess, obviously we don't know their positions yet, so we can't account for the fact that they might overtake one of these guys. But in my personal opinion, I think what's coming out is going to be really cool. It's going to be really cool. You're going to want it. And I know how people are. Right now, you say, no, I'm fine with my, my zero trip players. Then you're going to see the playoff play. play and go, oh, my God, I need those players. Stats just progressively get more insane as the year goes on. So you're going to obviously want them. And then plus all the playoff packs, all the playoffs, LTDs, the whole hype of the playoffs. It's going to kill the market. It's going to be a horrible market crash at some point. So I recommend wait till the training value happens. You sell your players. You make back your return, and then you go. You can go in on the playoff promo. But remember, don't go too in-depth into the playoff promo because the team of the year is coming right afterwards. So I'd recommend you stay vigilant and you stay you stay focused this whole time. Don't, don't, don't get caught up in the hype of the playoffs. I will go make a video going over the content tomorrow. I'll let you know what I think is worth it. I'll let you know what you should pick up. I'll let you know what looks like bait. Don't buy anything until you watch these videos because it's always helpful so you don't get caught in the bait of a player that's really not going to be all that great in about a week when Team of the Year drops. Especially because Team of the Year is going to be dropping like 98 overalls, 97s, 96, and 95s. Those are all going to overshadow the entirety of Madden. So you definitely want to wait for those. Now, the only thing I'd recommend that maybe would be worthwhile is maybe the Playoff Masters. Those cards potentially could make a splash, could be insane cards, and could be very worthwhile. But of course, we have to see. Now, as far as these sets go, can you still be doing the sets right now with your coins, even though the training's gonna happen? You still can, it's gonna work the same way. It will work itself out. So let's say before um, these guys were, were, let's say 290, 300, and this guy was 600K, he might go up to like 650, they might go up to like 320 each, 330 each. It's gonna cost a little bit more, but then he's gonna cost a little more. It always ratios itself out, so it's always a similar value. The only way the value would change is if I was to make a video and it got a lot of views and you guys, I, I would kill the markets collectively, but that's about it on that. So, as far as coins going into the playoff promo, what you guys saw, I think a recommended coin stack you want going into this whole new year, at least a million coins again. I'd recommend 1.5, but I know everyone doesn't got it like that. 700k to 1.5 is a solid coin stack. Remember, we have playoffs, team of the year, NFL honors, and Super Bowl. That's like the next month. Like, although NFL honors is the first week of February, from today's date, January 3rd, to like February 6th, it's going to be four massive promos. You need a lot of coins for them. Like I said, now, if you invest heavily in playoffs, you're going to screw yourself for Team of the Year. You're going to screw yourself for Super Bowl and NFL Honor. That's why I recommend you go into that playoffs. I'll make some videos. I'll let you guys know who I think is worth it, who isn't worth it. Kind of pick up what you think you need and then move on. Because then if you not, if you participate in all your coins into NFL, I mean, not NFL 100, in the playoff promo, then come Team of the Year, you're going to feel screwed that you can't afford anything. You're going to have to either A, buy coins, B, buy packs, or C, just sit it out. And then you're going to want to not play Madden anymore. Because that's what happens. You're not going to want to play Madden because everyone seems going to be so overpowered. You're going to feel off behind and then you're going to quit. I'd recommend you just save your coins, maybe get a player or two in playoffs, build up some coins, play some weekend league, sell some cards on high, and then enter into team of the year, and then obviously the Super Bowl and the NFL honors promo. It's gonna be a lot of coins are gonna be spent this next month. A lot of things are coming out. I highly recommend you follow this advice. I think it's pretty solid. I'm currently working my coin stack up a little bit so that I can play a little bit of this month of promos. Now playoffs, I don't think I'm gonna heavily invest in playoffs. I never typically do. It might be like one player or two that I really want. But Team of the Year is literally the next week. So I think I'd rather wait. Team of the Year drops a beastly type player. So I think I'm going to end up waiting on that one. Although I will definitely participate in playoffs. I just don't know how many players I'll end up keeping out of there. Maybe a master. I'm, I, I, I'm always a sucker for master sets. So let's see if they drop a good master that I really, really want. But guys, that pretty much covers the bulk of this video. Again, let's recap. 
coin stack between 750k and 1.5 million coins sell off your cards once the market settles after the big converts to training have your coins ready for tomorrow don't invest all into playoffs i'm telling you before i can get to you guys in a, in a morning video though i'm pretty quick i know you guys can beat me don't invest all your coins Just don't spend all your money on packs that pretty much wraps up that guys if you are new to the channel make sure to hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell i promise you my voice is always just bad so i'll sound a little more normal on other days but guys if we could hit 17k by the end of this week that would be awesome so make sure to spam that subscribe button if you're new to the channel you won't regret it as well as can you guys spam that like button if you're here nodi gang has show me how strong nodi gang is i know there's thousands of you guys per day spam that like button can we get a thousand likes for the first time ever on this channel we made it this far hit that like button and comment down below if you have any questions regarding this or hit me up on twitter that's about it thank you guys so much for watching i'm out see you guys in the next video peace